Welcome back, Action, y'all. Kelly. Go ahead. I, Action. Go ahead. <laughs> you are dumb. And oh, no, go. <laughs> Welcome back. We're everybody. live. Go I ahead. Two more friends. <laughs> I have two more friends joining me right now. She's an Oscar-winning actress, and he's a Tiger King loving actor and comedian. Uh, together, they're helping feed healthcare workers on the front lines. Let's say hi to Octavia Spencer and Joel McHale, y'all. So, what's up, guys? Can y'all hear me? All right. Everything good. Where's the clapping? Yeah. The clap. Yes. This is our clap. Applause. <laughs> no, but how are y'all doing? Because I just, I think, Octavia, your episode just aired, I think it was um, yesterday. So you're back on. Thank you for doing that. But what are y'all, how are you staying sane in, in you know, isolation? Uh, I don't think I really am. Uh, <laughs> Me neither. I'm, I'm left to my own devices, you know, childhood stuff, trying to cook for myself, oh. which is not good. Ugh. I I literally, obviously I've given up just on every look at my hair. I'm, I've, let, I've let it go. You're a liar, but I love I you. Do, so you've developed uh, lying and You know, I stay sane by just remembering that um, I was nominated for an Oscar and- <laughs> <laughs> And just being like, I'm amazing. <laughs> no, no, I, I go to my favorite uh, old Western movie set and I put a blanket mm-hmm. over the window and I sit in the corner of a wood building. You're so oh weird. wait, you're you're in my favorite room. This is hey, I'll have you know, we had to fix this room up, Joel, because we don't have anything built here on our ranch. So this is like an unfinished cabin that we've like pretended like we're totally fine and every the other like if you could see the other side of my camera, it's just unfinished walls, but it's fine. Oh, um, I, doing what we I'll can. I'll pay you to do to sit in front of that tomorrow. <laughs> But Joel, isn't there something that you wanted to tell Kelly? We wanted to say <laughs> happy 55th happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> you, you look amazing. Are... You look amazing. I do. Can we I sing, Octavia? Let's do it in a round. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy, to you. Birthday. happy birthday to you. To you. Kind of Happy birthday, my... dear Ruben Sutter. Oh Happy my God, you're so Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I got you a microphone. It is the best. That's the best birthday rendition. But Joel, you've been working with Tiger King, right? You've been interviewing all the people, like for Netflix, right? Uh, yeah. No, I, I can't. I, I, I'm holding on to the, uh, the coattails of that documentary. Uh, they asked me to host the. Uh, you know, the, the kind of wrap the catch up special and see where everybody was that was agreeing to be on camera. And so yeah. uh, they asked me a few days before it aired and we quickly scrambled together and got they had a bunch of people ready to be interviewed. So I, you know, I had barely anything. Uh, I, I, take, I, I was just happy to do it because I loved uh, the series and was fascinated by it. And I got to talk to a lot of the folks involved and uh, yeah, it's it's after anything I've done in the business for the last 20 years, nothing compared to the response of that. I've never <laughs> been a part of anything that was that popular ever. I'm not combine the soup and community, not even close to one 40 oh, yeah. minute special of me going, how's Oklahoma? So uh, that's that's basically <laughs> that's yes. you are. Um, uh, well, Octavia, what have you been binge watching? Um, I've been watching uh, Little Fires. I haven't oh. seen that. I want to see that. Is that so oh, good? So good. So good. Yeah. I've actually been going back. Like, I, I'm not kidding you. I'm going back to simpler times. I'm watching the Waltons. And wow. I love it. Little House on the Prairie. Like, things before times of Corona. You are going to a, you're in a dark place if you're needing that kind of, you're like, I all the, it. like, I need it. I need uh, pop. You're going pop, way pop, back. I need it. I don't, you're like, I need nostalgia for whenever I can go ride my bike and be outside. I like how I'm going back before uh, Corona. I was like, you could done, you could have done ER. I mean, that was <laughs> 25 years ago, but you decided ER. to go back almost 40 <laughs> years ago. Wait. 50 years ago. Good That's awesome. You. Hey, Joel, how is your, your podcast going? Thank you for asking. Uh, uh, it's with me and uh, Ken Jong, and uh, it's called The Darkest Cut Timeline, which is yeah. uh, a play on a community thing uh, from uh, a couple years ago, which is now on Netflix. And, uh, and it's also because we're in the darkest timeline of this COVID thing. And Ken 
is a real doctor and his wife is a real practicing doctor and he knows he is very good at distilling information down. So we said, well, why don't we do this? Because uh, I'll talk to you about what's going on with the virus and then we can answer community questions. And so we talk about the virus for about 10 minutes and then it's an hour and a half of each other. We just insult each other and we've gotten to a total <laughs> of about four questions over four <laughs> episodes uh but right now it is literally the number one podcast in the world it is that's incredible it's that's not, why I was like, i'm lying that's not true. no i i'm not i'm just saying it is incredible though that, that i i don't know i think i don't think of every time i think of kim jong i forget he's a doctor like and i've yeah, I forget he's a doctor run into too. each other several times and i just think it's incredible that he has that kind of knowledge and and also that presence in like the entertainment community just to kind of keep people's eye and attention that's really cool i think it's cool yeah i'm glad and y'all are both hilarious a, yeah i know it's great that he left a profession of helping people and making people better <laughs> and, so he could uh run around naked just make money <laughs> yeah no he's a really great uh, he's been a very close friend and now that he's so old and has a hard time, you know, he's all, he's that I'm helping him, you know, just, it's like, it, it's like Tuesday picking him up. all the time. <laughs> oh my God. You're so funny. I'm back with Octavia. Spencer Happy and birthday <laughs> to you, Kelly. Wait, oh we already did that. Sorry, go ahead. You, you did, but I'll take it all the time. Um, no, but Octavia, I forgot to ask, um, how is Velma? How's your wig doing? I've been looking for Velma. I would have been wearing her right now, but she's <laughs> hiding out. She, she knows Corona is serious and she doesn't want any part of it. I can't find her. Anyway. Like, bye. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, well, let's talk about the important issue because I do think this is really awesome um, what y'all are doing. You're both helping healthcare workers right now. Um, Joel, you've been using your Instagram page to help local restaurants, right? Again, I don't know what you're talking about, Kelly. <clears throat> you're so full. Okay, no, yeah, I've been going around to, uh, I'd start, I mean, yeah, we're going down to uh, local restaurants uh, around me, obviously, and in uh, in Los Angeles going, hey, this is an independently owned place. Obviously, it's suffering. Please come here, get takeout. They have great French fries. They make a great steak. They make a great matzo ball soup. And uh, to just get some sort of awareness of those places because there are so many independent businesses that are going to go down. And yeah. the big guys, the big corporations and these chains, th yes, it's going to be very hard on them, but they're going to be able to survive. But these guys... They're not, you know, paying, they don't have to pay rent right now, but they, they're going to be on the hook for it when this is all over and it's going to be very tough. So anything to support. And then uh, th this, the way that happened is that Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone uh, contacted me and said, hey, we've been talking to Octavia Spencer. And then Octavia, you take it from here. And uh, my friends, Leslie Feldman and Amy Carpenter and I, we were trying to figure out a way to do exactly what Joel was doing, uh, feed the front, front the, the healthcare workers on the front line, and, um, but help the restaurants in our communities and in so the communities sweet. of those hospitals. And then we decided to join forces and then something better happened. Frontline Foods came along and uh, they were doing what we were doing uh, <laughs> at a, on a larger scale. <laughs> and for uh, so many more people. And they had a, a volunteer army of over 300 people. And the five of us decided, well, we'd like to join that army of over 300 people where 100% of the proceeds go to all of the restaurants to help keep their lights on. Yeah, and these are not, That's it's amazing. not that, it's not that, yeah, no restaurant is don't, they're not donating the food, they're being paid to do what they do. So from the person sweeping up the parking lot to the surgeons to, uh, everybody, because you forget that there is routine, there are like people with cancer that need their treatments and there are uh, all sorts of people that need uh, medical assistance and the, you know, our hospitals are overwhelmed right now. And so yeah. it gives a little bit of relief and they, uh, thankfully they really appreciate it. Uh, except we let Octavia cook one of the meals and it <laughs> they sent it back. a disaster. <laughs> Uh, it was. Octavia, you and I should both take a cooking class together because I suck as well. So. Oh my yeah, God. this one person with the virus is like, don't you think I've suffered enough? Uh, <laughs> my kids are yeah. just looking at me like very sad, like, like can we have some other food? But and, and that's actually interesting because a lot of us, especially um, a lot of moms at home having to like sit in the kitchen, try and figure it out in the kitchen. 
uh, that's where I mean, we keep making this joke at our house, but we keep saying like, you know, I just want to support my community right now and order out. So I <laughs> nice. really, I don't want to cook, but you're also helping someone. So you really are. Cause it, it, you really are. And, it, but we make the joke cause we're just, I'm like so tired of cooking cause I'm not good at it, but this is such a clever thing that came together with this frontline food. Like it's so clever how it's helping everyone involved. It's a win-win, even the people getting to help you're not, you're getting to help people. That helps your spirit. It helps you kind of pull out of that dark place we can sometimes go to when we're quarantined. So that's, that's really incredible. So this, the organization has actually raised over $1.6 million, donated over 50,000 meals and helped 135 restaurants across the nation. That's yeah. just like so cool. I mean, you too, you, I hope y'all are, I know you're not doing it to like be proud of it, but that's really cool that y'all no, were part it. of making I, it I happen. delivered 50,000 <laughs> alone i did all I'm of exhausted <laughs> uh no it, I, I think i gave you probably like there was this whole flurry of work while we were trying to put this thing together it was going to be called comfort food 2020 and then octavia i don't know who discovered frontline but they were like wait this this like if we were in a dinghy exactly. and all of a sudden an aircraft carrier showed up and said want to ride and we're like yes yes, yes we do what would y'all say to those out there who are watching this right now who want to help like how could they help and aid in what y'all are doing well, they could go to uh, frontlinefoods.org. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, Kelly. So don't have money to give right now, <laughs> Kelly. Uh, so I would say if you don't have money to give, a simple prayer takes a, goes a long way too. Well, thank you so much, Joel and Octavia, for getting involved. Um, for more info on how you can help, go to frontlinefoods.org and look for Joel in a new episode of The Twilight Zone on CBS All Access and as the voice of Johnny Cage in the upcoming movie Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. Um, and also catch Octavia in the Netflix movie Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel! Please don't make me keep going.